I got the idea because I've always loved Hoxai and I discovered he had a daughter. Everyone knows the great wave off Kanagawa and everyone knows 36 views of Mount Fuji. What everyone doesn't know is that he may very well not have created the late images attributed to him. I discovered that he lived twice the life expectancy during his age and during his last 25 years he was disabled by a stroke. So I went to a symposium about Hokusai with many experts from all over the world and the question comes up as it always does, how did this very elderly man create these beautifully colored and terrifically fine works in his last years? And I felt as if I had the knowledge. I knew what it was by instinct. I had looked at her work. I had seen the pictures. It was the daughter. She was the ghost brush. She was the one who painted the paintings, especially in the later years, which are attributed to him. I began to feel that this woman was calling to me, you know, as if she had found me and I had found her, and it was my job somehow to, to kind of dig her out of the slag heap of history where she'd been buried. I went to collections all over the world and I consulted experts. I dug through rural museums in Japan and saw private family collections, and I found what can be found about Oe. Unfortunately, the trail ends and we have no information about the end of her life. But that's where the novel begins, because after all, this is a story. It's a story about one woman's life in a hard time, one woman who became a great artist and who was lost to history. <laughs>